All right, everybody, I'm back. I have a new friend for you. Oh, a rookie. Hello. Are you talking to me or him? Um, hello. See you there. You go. All right. Are you with us? Yeah, are you with us? Shut up. Got some food for you. Oh, are you a soldier? Army man, huh? I wish I didn't miss conversation snippets while I'm gone. Um, no. <laughs> I'm a mere civilian with a fucking classified thing. I mean, I'm an ordinary citizen. You're acting suspicious. I don't like people like you. I can't tell you anything. I got an order. I thought you were an ordinary citizen, you liar! I mean, I don't have to tell you anything. Whoop, this is getting high. Let me just fix that. It's all clear with you, Greenhorn. <laughs> That's interesting. So maybe Alan Yates used to be in the military, and he's turned into alcohol because of that stuff. And you. I only have a half a bottle left. Sorry. You can't take my alcohol now. I mean, are you going to the shelter, too? <laughs> Wait, why shelter? But the second visitation. Are you one of those? One of those fanatics? I mean, there is shit going on outside. You saw it, right? Actually, no, I took him in from the city. They're already sending out the capsules. You know that. Yeah, there's like, uh, I don't know if that's a capsule. Capsules? With beer? <laughs> no, the capsules with... The capsules with what? Come on, I'm kidding. Once I also read some stupid books. Is that all you got? I'll have to fix the fucking thing before everyone dies again. Okay, guys. Well, if you're not gonna talk anymore, I'm hopping off. I wonder if they converse while I'm off of the train. I'd hope so. They need to build up a good friendship for themselves. Otherwise, bad things will happen. At least they have five medkits, but we'll see how long that lasts, depending on how fast we get more survivors. Alright, it's actually been a couple of days since I last played this. I took a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna have to remember controls. Punching, shooting, all these things are pretty standard, so we'll be good in that regard. Can you take a day off? Tell your boss we have an anniversary. I can't. He left early today. He said he has important business at the port. He seems to be going there quite often. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So, I immediately assumed that this was gonna be another, like, co-worker, but I guess this could be a friend, or a spouse, or just a significant other. And they're like, hey, we have an anniversary. <laughs> a friendship anniversary. I'd love to have a friendship anniversary. I've never had something like that. Cherish your friends, people. If you can remember the first day that you made friends with them, have some cake on that day. Especially if you have it on a holiday. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Joe, it's done. Everything works. The council must let me work on the Guardian now. You can have my house. Sell it if you like. I'm going to Metropole. Everything works. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that working. Those are all Delta conductors that we have. I don't know what you're building, but good luck anyways. Igmund Electron, Appliance Store, First Circle, Metropole. So he built like this giant robot tank looking thing. And I'm gonna hope that it doesn't like chase me down automatically. It's all twitching and shit. They obviously didn't get a chance to use it. Okay, I can't go in the sewer just yet. I'm sure I'll come back up eventually. I'm suspicious. There we go. I was sitting there wondering how come we hadn't encountered people for a while. I gotta kill some zombies. Food, bottle of beer, okay. Oop, hi everybody. I just gotta charge up my punch. You know, these things try to eat me. I didn't ever like, it's always a blur when action's going on, so I just kind of assumed it's swiping its arms at me, but no, it's trying to fucking bite me. Ow, great, it actually got me too. That's right, I just need to get good. Got it. Okay. Ow. Ooh. Friend. Friend, 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 friend. No, I'm not gonna be wasteful. 
I was gonna punch it for revenge. That idiot who rented out our room upstairs stole two books. I'm going to the police. I'll not let this slip. <laughs> no, not the books. What a dick. I mean, yeah, for reals, don't steal people's books. What's up with that? The dreams are occurring. My next goal is Ristol. I've heard an old man who saw the first contact lives there. If I can meet him, I'm sure he can help me to move on. X. Do we have more survivors from the first visitation? I wonder how many there really are. Obviously there'd have to be a decent bit. Society went on, these buildings aren't like destroyed. <laughs> I play riskly. Just in case, man. Alright. You know, it's really amusing. So now I started posting up the series and people were like saying stuff that I've missed, but I haven't really actually missed anything. Like people were like, oh, you missed two refrigerators. No, I actually went back and grabbed those just off screen. At least during some of the jump cuts. Not every single one. I did miss some things, but oh well. Tell Jack that I'm not planning to lend him my car. I only have one to work my ass off to get it. Don't they have taxis in Ristol? Possibly. Hey, this is scary. Yeah, okay. That's a good moment to use a med kit. There. I can always craft more, so I'm not worried about it. Can't take anything from here. That is a shame. But sometimes these things, you can't really interact with them. You just kind of pass by. And there's nothing there. It's hard to tell. Oh, there was a door up there. I didn't realize. I thought it was just a wall. Always just imagine that I'm looking where my crosshair is. Because generally, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, alright. So far, so good. I got a toilet now. I don't know who I'm going to use it on. Ooh, Guardian Keychain. Oops. <laughs> I was gonna charge up my, uh, my shotgun melee to, like, really do some damage, but it was too late. Martha, they need to wait for another hour. I have an urgent matter at the storeroom. Wait, oh, because this is a lawyer building, and they're just saying, yeah, just leave them here. I have things I have to do. Wait, there's a person here. Are they alive? Well, there's a person who's alive. Hold up. Hi. Dear father, I understand it's very hard to work as a cashier at your age, but this is the only option we have. When Mark and I get married, we'll bring you to live with us. Aw. I mean, I guess she's... she's out? She ain't joining us. Well, let's talk with this guy then. Howdy. Did you kill them? No. Two or three made it upstairs. Okay, I'll be waiting on the train. Two or three made it upstairs. I, I wish we actually had a character talking. Like, we know our character talks to people. Oh, hey, there's the code. Vincent Green, head of Arden, Arden Station, 8864. But it's really annoying that our character talks to people, but we don't actually see it. So they respond to things that I have no idea if he actually said or not. <laughs> that will be fine. I'll make do. As long as I carry some boxes for self-defense. <laughs> Stay back! Get away from here! I locked him up down there, man. Well, I explodey guy. The explosion effect is so big, it's actually really worrisome. <laughs> it feels like... Just being in the room with them is going to get me in trouble. Oh man. Alright. Shit. Hold up. There we go. My mouse went off screen. Okay. I clicked out of the window by accident, but we're fine now. Really? Nothing, buddy? Alright. I'm prepared. Oh! Jesus! Okay, I wasn't actually as prepared as I thought I was going to be. I didn't think there were going to be three fast zombies in the room. Hey, another injured guy. 
God, another injured guy. Hi there. Okay, it's just a rat. It's not gonna kill us. I'm happy about that. Hi. How are you doing? Are you sure it's safe there? Can you guarantee it? Okay. Oh, now we got another guy to, like, spam medkits at. At least I can craft medkits. I don't think I can craft food for the medkit guy. Eh, <laughs> hey, good enough. <laughs> I was hoping to kill two people, but it went a little bit faster than I thought it was going to. As always, you never know their speed. Hold up, charge. Just in case we get another fast one. Nope, alright. How to save money and make a million! DK Miller, ooh. I wanna make a million bucks. <laughs> oh shit, that fucking door is locked. I love the idea of self-help books. I never really personally found myself in a situation where I, I need one. I mean, obviously I'm not a millionaire. But they're all just like, <laughs> some of them are really simple things. But I guess to be fair, that's... Depends on the individual. Right? Sometimes, you don't have knowledge of some things. Which is obvious, that's just normal for humans. We are, like, missing a fucking key and I'm paranoid about it. But, yeah, no, fucking self-help books. So I feel like half of them are scams and half of them are actually helpful. They get stuff that's like, oh, you need to focus on your chi to become a millionaire. And I sit there going, I, I, I wish I could get in contact with my chi. It'd be awesome. Maybe I could do some kung fu things. Otherwise, you shouldn't shit talk chi. Some people believe in it. You have to believe in your natural flowing energy. So that way you can defend yourself or just make peace with the world. Eight, eight, six, four. Still. We'd have a lot of millionaires if self-help books actually had a really good success rating. Okay, we just heavily expanded our forces. By a lot. Oh, the more the merrier! I'm glad he thinks that. I'm gonna feed this guy. Is he drunk? How can one drink in such a situation? What? <laughs> of course he's gonna drink in this guy's kind of situation. I'm afraid he doesn't know what's happening. Was he born yesterday? Actually, he came from the city. Basically. Why are you yelling here? I need a doctor. Oh, he's almost dead then. Usually that's what they say. There you go. Beggars can't be choosers. I agree with that sentiment. Let me turn this down. I'm doing a better job at running the trade. Now, to the shelter. Or to Metropole. I mean, I think we just, yeah, we go to the place that's closer, see if it's still around, and if it's destroyed, then we leave. But I want to see the Guardian! <laughs> I, I would like to see him too. They can't start him without the central processor and the power core. What, so they decided to create this central processor? I think it's just an electronic brain, why not call it that? Call it whatever you like, but it was a stupid idea. Yeah, having to have your guardian rely on something that's so far away to get turned on, that's a stupid idea. Because now shit's going down and we're not helping. Oh hey, tunnel. That's creepy. I'm sorry I don't have food for y'all. They only sold two at the other fucking town and that's ridiculous. There we go. Hopefully nothing super scary happens again, like... What happened to those two soldiers? We haven't had another situation like that, and I still don't know exactly why it happened in the first place. Oh shit, there was a message going on. These guys are gonna fucking die. Tim, are you there? Did you switch my route? Tim? Tim is offline. Oh jeez. Where the hell are we? Why are we in this underground train station? Why are we in the subway? Oh god, I have a flashlight around me. That means this place is gonna be super dark. Mm -hmm. 
you can fuck off with that music or that like super scary sound. Oh, okay. We got a food med kit that's good. Joss, I wanted to warn you. There are rumors that there'll be an inspection next month. Hopefully the ventilation problems are solved. Ventilation problems, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Oh, hi. Hey, how you doing? I thought we were gonna be alone for a while. Anyways, I've been thinking. Are we gonna encounter any new types of zombies soon? Because it's been a while. And if it's been a while, and you're in a situation like this, that's never good. This is the perfect place for them to drop a new monster on us. In the dark. In a super creepy place. And it could be fucking horrifying. Or it could be just super normal. I really don't know. Or maybe there's only these three types of zombies. The normal zombie, the armored zombie, and the fast guy. Henry, we received information that there will be a station inspection in two weeks. Try to get the kitchen up to spec by then, please. Up to spec, Henry. Yeah, Henry. We, don't, we want our kitchen to be fucking presentable. Oh, thanks for the food, Henry. At least you were able to do that for us. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not doing that. Why won't it let me go down? It won't let me go down the staircase. Oh no! Oh shit. What? What? Why, why are there train lights passing by? We're not in... A train... Oh no, my mind is being fucked with... What? Hmm, no, I don't need to go to Metropole. Uh... That's good, I guess. What the fuck's going on? Listen, I understand, re I really do, but I earn a lot of money here. You never listen to me. Look, I need to just get th uh, get through this week with the inspection. <sighs> so we know the zombies are one effect of the gas shit. <gasps> and we, sus we strongly suspect that the second thing that happens with the gas is... Your mind gets possessed, and maybe they don't even know. <laughs> Woo! Alright. That was a good way to handle that many people. Come on, folks. Charge it up, and boop! I don't know which people died from the shotgun and which people just died from the explosion. Ah, oh, that was it? There wasn't anything really of value down here. I couldn't loot this guy's corpse. Oh, wait, there we go. Rag, shotgun, ammo, old books, and a med kit. I thought that was going to be a throwable chest, which I was going to pick up anyways, because, hey, an extra throwable item is always good. We got to be real fucking suspicious. are here man why is why are there more lights maybe maybe I'm being affected and I just never knew what if it's one of those kinds of games where I'm actually a bad guy I have turned into one of those zombie things after all the times we've been hit and I just never knew gosh that did not go where I needed it to. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so fucking screwed here. Fuck. Oh, 
Okay, all right. We're good. We're good. Now we're just gonna let this guy blow up. A little bit of a shame that I didn't get the explosion in general. I was trying to hit the first guy, the armored guy, and then I was gonna shoot the barrel immediately afterward. Didn't fucking work out that way. Hey, buddy. Just wires? That's all you had on you. Alright. Bob, as I've already mentioned, there will be an inspection in two days. Do you understand that if the ventilation shuts down for whatever reason, we all die? Yeah, man, get the fucking ventilation back on. Why is this even being debated? Oh, okay. These spooked me. I didn't know if there was going to be something behind them. I didn't even know there were boxes until I went past them. This place is too dark for our own good, man. Do not forget to put a lock on the door! People will need passes to get to the warehouse. Okay... Oh... No! No, 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 I'm not happy with the result of this. There's no way we're outside... When we were underground in the... No, 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 this is all shit in my mind. There's two moons. I don't think there were two moons before. I mean, I didn't actually look at the sky that much until now, but that's not... That's not right. They want me, man. I don't know who they are, but they want our minds. And if we let them get access to our minds, this world's no longer ours. Oh, hey there. Are you sane? Oh, God. Please be quick. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was wondering what he was meant by that, but he just said that, uh, He wants us to hurry! For us to get the fuck out of here! Lisa, just so you know, I fired- I've been fired. The inspection found 54 violations. I haven't actually received an official dismissal yet, but I'm not waiting around for it. I'm getting on the first train out of here, and they can all go to hell! <laughs> 54 violations! Holy shit, man. To David Cartwright, head of Lost. Description, confirmation of blockers code 9924. You should have fixed the goddamn ventilation. Wouldn't have had any of these issues. Oh, I'm so glad to get the hell out of here. 9924, we gotta be fast with our feeding and healing of people. We're gonna try and grab a med kit first. So that way, I'm pretty sure we have at least one person at low health. I don't mind them being hungry, I mind them being almost dead. I don't feel good. Yeah, like this guy. Hey buddy, how'd you end up here? Okay, let's get food. You guys keep on talking amongst yourself, I'm not even gonna bother to read half of it. Okay, he said something about... ...not knowing something, and this guy's like, oh, there should be a tunnel here. Could we have taken a wrong turn? We could have been put on a wrong track, and that'd be bad for us. Turn where? There's only one road. Here, I'm gonna give y'all some health. Because med kits are a little bit more affordable. Actually, let me fucking fix this shit. And... And then one more side. There, alright. What am I even carrying again? This looks like food. Oh, yeah, no, that's a go. I missed half of the fucking dialogue between these guys. I can assure you there are no military facilities around here. I need a doctor. It's too close to a first visitation zone. So there's no radio contact? There's nothing here at all. Then who built a railway here? Yeah, that is worrisome, but we'll be fine. Wait, no, I want the med kit. The med kit. Uh, well, okay. I guess someone's getting food. Let's 
Excuse me, guys. I gotta turn down the heat before everyone suffocates. Well, I'm assuming that the power goes out and it causes people to suffocate. So this is a tunnel that wasn't supposed to be here. That's very interesting. It's almost like we've been abducted by aliens! But I wouldn't fucking know. I don't know the world. Everything is spooky to me.